Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the procedure of SSG which is done for tubal patency test. You can see the instruments that is the SIM speculum, the valsalum, Foley's catheter number 10, the Ziplox 100cc and normal saline 100cc. Syringes are pre-filled. The 10cc syringes are having 5cc Ziplox and normal saline each. The 5cc syringe is having 4cc of normal saline and 1cc of lignocaine jelly. Mind you, it is lignocaine jelly and not the lignocaine solution. An assistant is required to retract the posterior vaginal wall with the SIM speculum and I hold the anterior lip of cervix with the valsalum. The Foley's catheter number 10 is gradually inserted into the cervix. Also, before the procedure, we can give mild painkillers like diclofenac injection to the procedure. If required, we can use artery forceps to push it inside gently the Foley's catheter in the, uh, in the uterus. Once I am sure that adequate length is inside, I inflate the balloon with a 5cc syringe and then I give a gentle tug to ensure that it is not coming out. Then I will remove the instruments and also the guide wire. After that I will cl clamp the draining tube with the artery forceps and now I will prick it with the 10cc syringe. Point to be taken is that it should not be go going through and through and also multiple pricks must be avoided. Over here, the needle will be now fixed, only the 10cc syringe will be keeping on changed when it is finished. Coming to the ultrasound settings now, ultrasound should be put on the gynec preset with the follicular monitoring on mode and also the color doppler should be on the low scale settings. This is the uterus which we can see the Foley's bulb is inside and right ovary and left ovary should be visualized. The point to be taken care of is now whenever the assistant is pushing, she should say by her mouth that she is pushing because we have to correlate the findings of that push and the free fall which we are going to see on color Doppler on the screen. So a correlation of the pushing of the syringe and a free fall on the ultrasound on color Doppler is the very important to document the patency. Now if you see that this is a right uh, adnixa in which the free fall is not very much appreciated. This is the right ovary as we saw. Now moving on to the left side. Left uh, ovary this will be. And putting on the color Doppler. You can see a very good free fall will be there. That will confirm the patency of the left tube. So this is right again. Again I am confirming but the free fall is not there. And if you see on the left side. A good free fall will be appreciated on pushing. Also note that now you can see this is a good free fall. Also note that whenever the patient has pain, then also some false readings can be there about the patency. So that is why you again have to reconfirm. So that's what I am doing on the right adnixa. Again I am reconfirming. Please note that SSG has to be done after the periods have finished. Now coming on to the uterine cavity evaluation. So the Foley's bulb that was inflated with 5 cc or 4 cc is gradually now deflated and a normal saline of 10 cc is very gradually now pushing through the draining tube. Care has to be taken that in this 10 cc normal saline there is no single air bubble because that will give false readings and we can miss the polyps etc. After the procedure, patients requires only mild painkillers like Zerodol SP and are not advised to have any excessive exercise or any st uh, physical stress for a couple of days. This procedure also has a therapeutic value. Sometimes mild blockage will be also opened while doing the procedure. So this is a normal uterine cavity. Thank you.